Okay, what is an asymptote? Um, kind of a question you run into often in, math in mathematics. So here we go. Let's, uh, I got a little GeoGebra SketchUp made to hopefully kind of show you what it is. So an asymptote to me is when a function, you know, reaches towards a point but never quite reaches it. So the best way I think to think of an asymptote is to think about, we've got this line segment here, A and B. And uh, we're going to, uh, whoops, didn't quite mean to zoom in there. That's all right. So we've got this line segment A and B, and it's 10 units long. And I've got this slider that will cut it in half by whole number increments. So it's, each time I move this slider to the right, it's going to cut it cut it in half that many times, and then C plots the length of that line at each cut. So cut one. Right now it's at one. It's at ten units in length. You know when I go to two. Let me get on that. So when I go to two here, hopefully I won't go too far. Notice now it's five, and my C is also at 5, so right in between 4 and 6. And so it, and it plot, plotted, it left 10 there, so it's, so it's also uh, showing what we did before. So I'm going to, so there I've cut it in half twice, or once, which is 2. There's 3 times, so I cut it in half. Will B and A ever be the same point? Will B reach A? So we'll keep cutting that in half. And there's C. Notice the length is, uh, the length of that, it looks like one and a half at four. We'll cut it in half again. There's five. We'll cut it in half again. There's six. We'll cut it in half again. There's seven. And notice A and B are starting to come together. And right here, this is almost zero. So there's eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. So let's look at a couple things. It looks like A and B are on top of each other, and at 12 it looks like C is at 0. So first off, let's look at A and B. So I'm going to zoom in here on A and B, and let's see if they're actually on top of each other. Uh-oh, starting to separate. So notice there's still a distance, a length there, that we could cut in half. So we could cut that in half again. Oh, there's still a link there at 13. Let's cut that in half again uh, a couple times. <laughs> and let's cut it in half to the point where we think it's all the same point again. There's 18. So then you zoom in and notice there's still some room between them. I'm zoomed in to the tens, hundreds, thousands place. So, uh, and, and there's still a gap between them. So that's what an asymptote is. It's going to reach that level, but never quite reach it. So it, it's always headed towards that, but never going to reach. A and B are never going to converge. And let me move this back to 12 so that you can see the, see the cut in half, kind of where we were at to begin with, with the distance. So. C should be, yeah, there's C at 12, and C looks like it's right on the line 12 there, or on the x-axis. So we'll zoom in on it and see if it is right on the x-axis. Ah, notice C has not quite reached the x-axis, and in fact, it'll never reach it. You could cut this thing in half, whoops, you could cut this thing in half all the way to 100, 100 times, and you'd still be able to find a, diff a distance. Now, unfortunately, when you cut it in half all the way to 100, this computer program can't handle the capacity. You, it, you're almost going to the atomic level for, uh, the, to find the you run out of the ability to see halfway. But you could literally go forever with this, as, as long as your uh, computer was big enough to see the, see the difference between the two. This computer is not. So, and so what the asymptote is, is that line where it approaches. So in our case, let me go back to the, to the beginning and see 
So you follow C. Notice as C, as we keep cutting this in half, C will start getting terribly close to the x-axis. So here's the x-axis, and there's C approaching it. So the x-axis in this case would be what is called a horizontal asymptote. Okay. So that's, gen that's what I think of when I think of an asymptote and how I, I envision an asymptote. So they happen all the time. So let me give you a new, uh, new window, and I'll just give you a quick function with an asymptote in it. Let me pause, and I'll get this. All right, so I placed in a pretty wacky function with a lot of asymptotes. And uh, um, here's, you know, here's the function, kind of big and nasty. So I'll kind of hide that just so we can concentrate on the graph so you can see what that what it looks like. So I'll zoom out a little bit. And if you notice, there's what it looks like. And we've got several here. Um, let me look at my function because I really don't know what I, I just made something up. So it looks like we have an asymptote at negative 3. So I'm going to type in x equals negative 3. And there it is. I just popped in. I'll turn it a different color. Object properties, color, maybe red, change it to a dotted line. And so there's, there's an asymptote at negative 3. And you can follow this thing as far up as you want, and it'll look like our black graph there and that dotted line converge. But if you zoom in, you'll see a difference. And no matter how high you go up, there'll always be a distance there. You just have, might have to zoom clear in to see it. Okay, it looks like we also have um, maybe an asymptote at 5. Let me double check here. Oh, nope, 4. Positive 4 is another uh, vertical asymptote. So I'll type in x equals 4. And in another video, I'll show you kind of how to find those. But right now, I just, I'm just i concerned with that you understand what an asymptote is. We'll color it red. We'll change it to a dotted line. Close it up, and there's this asymptote. And notice um, up and down both, you know, we can follow this thing up, and uh, it's, it's got an asymptote, and we can follow it down, and it's got an asymptote. And look at that, both, both the dotted lines, those are both vertical asymptotes going up and down, and you can zoom into both and see that there's still a difference distance between them. I'll zoom into this one. That one's a little tighter, so you have to zoom in a little further to get it to show up. Now notice there's some other asymptotes. Let me, whoops, let me zoom out. Looks like we also has, have an asymptote um, at a diagonal here, if you follow that. So, you know, it's got a slant asymptote, it's got a vertic couple vertical asymptotes. Um, you know, and finding those slant, that slant asymptotes a little bit beyond this function or this video, uh, we'll do that in the next couple. But you can kind of see that uh, straight line forming, where it's approaching some line that's uh, at a slant. I'm going to just kind of zoom around so you can kind of see it. Um, but notice how it lines right up. And actually, if the uh, power of the numerator is one more than the power of the denominator, if you were to FOIL that out and get the degree, and I should say the degree of it, then you do have a slant asymptote, and you use uh, long division or division to figure out what that asymptote is, the equation of that asymptote. So we'll talk about that on another video. So hopefully that explains asymptote and what it is, and uh, good luck, and see you next time.